Today we're going to be talking about a few different tips and tricks that I'm going to give you so that way you can stop being broke. I'm really tired of being broke. Now this could potentially be a somewhat of a tough topic to cover because not everyone's situation is the same. Some people are broke because of specific reasons while others are because of certain choices that they made. So I want this video to serve as some sort of inspiration or something that can help you out to lift your spirits, to get you motivated and to get you up and running. Because honestly, at the end of the day, everyone has some sort of opportunity that they can take advantage of. Of course, for some people, it's gonna be a lot easier than it is for others, but that's not to say that it's not possible. Now, there could be many reasons why somebody could be stuck in a certain position. There's tons of different reasons why people are broke. There's tons of different reasons why people are homeless. At the end of the day, this all really has to do with the cards that you're dealt and how you play them. Now, one of the hardest things to do is finding the light in a dark situation, which honestly, if you've been there, you know how hard it is. You know how hard it is to be able to look on the bright side, especially when everything around you is just dark and it just doesn't seem to be getting any better no matter how hard you try. Look, there's a lot of different ways that you can start making money. Some are going to be easier than others. Some are going to be more lucrative than others. But at the end of the day, as long as you're making something, isn't that what makes it worth it? It's never easy, but it's always worth it. <laughs> Of course, it obviously has to be worth your time. But let's say, for example, if you start a dropshipping business and you're not making as many sales as you thought you were going to make, but you're still making enough sales to be able to turn a profit. Is it worth it? In my opinion, yes. Because at the end of the day, if you keep working on it, if you keep going, if you keep at it, if you keep perfecting your craft, then chances are your business is going to keep growing and you're going to be making more and more money. You just have to stick through the tough parts. You just have to keep going when everything else seems hard. Just keep going. Being broke isn't easy, but there are definitely ways out of it. If you have a phone, which honestly, nowadays, most people do, even if you can't afford a phone, there's a lot of different government programs, of course, depending on where you live, that can provide you with one. And once you get your hands on a phone, then a million and one doors just opened up for you. The internet is full of money-making opportunities. Some that are extremely stupid easy, like going viral on TikTok, for example. Yeah, it's not necessarily easy to do, but it can happen without practically any effort. It can happen from one day to the other. Now, why do I bring that up? Well, there's a couple of different creators that I've followed on TikTok that actually started off as homeless people. They started off documenting their entire experience on how they lived and how they passed their day to day. And you know what ended up happening? They started going viral. They started making a little bit of money and they got out of their situation. Now, is that something that's possible? Yeah, actually, it completely is. As long as you stay dedicated and you stay true to what you're doing. So let's say you decide to start a TikTok or a YouTube channel where you're going to focus on your day to day life, whether that be an extreme case like the one that I just mentioned about being homeless or just living your day to day life, documenting what you're doing. At the end of the day, if you can make things exciting, if you can start to catch people's attention, then these are the little things that are going to start making you grow on a platform like TikTok or Instagram or YouTube. You got to make things interesting. You got to start documenting things that other aren't things like this are going to help you start bringing an audience which at the end of the day can ultimately be monetized now like i mentioned earlier this isn't something that's going to happen from one day to the other and it's not one thing that's going to make you rich or wealthy from one day to the other you're going to start off little by little you're going to start off making a couple of bucks here a couple of bucks there eventually you might get a brand deal your actual tiktok account or your youtube channel might get monetized these are different ways that you're going to start making little bits of money that are eventually going to start compounding on each other to start bringing in more and more. Now I'm talking a lot about content creation right now because these are some examples that I've actually seen happen. Like I said earlier, with the example of the homeless TikTok creators. But what if you don't like being in front of the camera? Well, there's still a lot of things that you can do. Are you good at anything? Are you good at designing? Are you good at drawing? Are you good at coming up with some funny slogans? Well, if you are, then why don't you start making some digital files? When you make digital files, you can sell those online and you don't have to do practically anything. The platform that you're selling on does almost all of the work for you. All you have to do is keep creating and keep listing them. 
Platforms such as Shopify or Etsy can facilitate this entire process for you. So you can upload your digital files and then whenever somebody makes a purchase, they're automatically available for them to download. So now we all know that when it comes to being online, there's tons of different ways that you can make money. You can start up an automated business such as let's say drop shipping. You can start selling digital products. You can start doing print on demand. If you want a list of some of the top online businesses that you can start, then just check out this video right here. In it, I talk about all of the different ones that are easy to start how you can start, what you need. And if you want to check that out, just check out the description down below. The link to it is going to be there. Now, actually making money is just one part of not being broke. There's a lot of people out there that are actually making tons of money, but they're still broke. Now, why is that? For one, there's one major problem that a lot of us face. And that's the fact that we don't know how to manage our money. I'm guilty of this. For quite a few years, I was mismanaging my money. Even though I was making a good amount, I was mismanaging it. So I was always broke. I was always getting into more debt when I really shouldn't have been. So because of that, one thing that a lot of people tend to do is overspend on things that absolutely have no worth or things that are not going to increase in value over time. If you make a large purchase, except for, I don't know, let's say a TV for your house, which even then you shouldn't be going too much for things like that. Always stick to a budget make sure that it's something that you can afford and you don't want to be getting into debt over. But one thing that you really do want to do is whenever you have any extra money and you're able to spend it, whenever you have some extra spendable income, of course, after you made sure that all of your bills are paid, your rent, your phone, and you put a little bit to the side, just in case, if you have any money left over, don't misuse it. If you are going to spend it, spend it on something that could potentially appreciate in value over time. Of course, every once in a while, you're going to want to buy something that's just, you know, for pure pleasure, something that you just want for yourself, which it's totally fine. But try to keep those to a minimum. Try to keep those as a reward. Try to do that maybe once a month or something like that. But overall, when it comes to having any extra money, if you're not spending it on something that is going to appreciate in value over time, then you should be saving it. And don't save it in a basic savings account. Savings accounts are not going to make you any money. You want to spend it on something like a money market account or a Roth IRA, something that's going to build interest on the money that you're putting in there. Now, I completely understand that for some people, it's really hard to even open up a savings account overall. Some people don't have any money left over at the end of the day or at the end of the pay period. People live paycheck to paycheck. And trust me, once again, I totally understand that it's tough out there, especially if you're living in a city or a very popular city or a very touristy city. And then on top of that, different things compound on each other. You know, you don't have time because you have to work, you have kids, you have to get your kids to school, you have things to do, you have to make sure the house is good, you have to make sure that the dinner is cooked. There's a lot and I get it. It's really tough, especially at the end of the day when all you want to do is just knock out and not even think about having to work another minute because you're just so exhausted from everything going on. But these are the moments that you really need to think about. Do I want to keep doing what I'm doing or brew a pot of coffee, stay up a little bit longer, maybe one or two hours every night and start getting something done, start getting something that can start making me some money. So that way I can get out of the situation and have a full night's sleep without having to worry about anything. Sometimes it's going to be really hard. Sometimes you're going to be grinding for three or four years, maybe even more trying to get on your feet. And that's okay. That is the biggest factor when it comes to not being broke and not just putting in the work, keeping your head up, because a lot of the times it's going to feel like you're sinking. A lot of the times it's going to feel like you just can't get out of it or like nothing's working. But these are the times that you really need to persevere so that way you can keep moving ahead. I've met a lot of people in my entrepreneurship journey, some of which make excuses. Others are figuring out how to get over those excuses. Some people are just easily defeated. And that is one reason why certain people will never succeed because they admit defeat too easily, sometimes without even trying or putting up a fight. This is extremely detrimental to anything that you do in life, especially running your business or trying to be successful. If you give up easily, then you're never going to know what could have been. Remember that doubt will kill more dreams than failure ever will. If you don't think that you can do it, then chances are you're not even going to try. But if you don't think that you can do it and you try and you succeed, look right now, it's extremely tough. And I know that because 
it's it's hard everywhere it's hard throughout the entire world with everything that's going on with inflation rising housing prices everything is only getting more expensive and our paychecks and our ability to make money are only getting less and less that's why you have to keep going and you have to keep striving for success whatever you're doing try to keep compounding on top of that try to keep making it better try to start different little businesses here and there try varying your different sources of an income start a dropshipping business don't expect to make millions of dollars, at least not right away. Start a dropshipping business, and as long as you're making a few extra bucks every week or every month, that's something. Then you can start a digital file business, let's say. You start selling different digital files. Then you have two different sources of income. Now let's take, for example, both of those are making a little bit of money, nothing crazy, but you are making maybe a couple hundred bucks every week. Those are a couple hundred bucks that you would not have had before. And if you're not happy with that, then you might have a problem because I know a lot of people that will say it's not worth it and they'll completely stop doing it. And then there goes that source of income. Then what? That's not how you should be looking at things. The way that you should look at it is this is a few hundred bucks that I'm getting every week. I'm going to use this to my advantage. Then, like I said, you start the other business, the digital files business, and then that's another few hundred bucks every week. Not a few hundred bucks, even if it's an extra hundred bucks a week or a hundred bucks a month, it's still a little bit more money that you did not have that at the end of the day, you're not doing anything for when it comes to fulfilling different orders. Want to compound on top of that? Keep making more files, keep making more different images, keep making different templates. Not all of them are going to be successful. Not all of them are going to be best sellers, but the ones that do sell are going to be bringing in some extra money. Same thing goes for your dropshipping business. Not all of your products are going to be best sellers. Some might not sell at all, but this is when you have to keep trying different products and keep attacking your marketing in different ways. Some people say that being broke is a mentality and I can't 100% agree with it because again, not everyone's situation is the same. Some people are dealt a completely different hand of cards than somebody else will be. But at the end of the day, it does depend on how you play those different cards. Try to make the best of a bad situation. Try to always persevere. Try to always succeed. Do not go down without a fight and don't take failure as an option. Whenever you fail at something, either keep attacking it, keep trying, or try something else. If you want to stop being broke, then you have to keep persevering. You have to keep going at it. You have to keep attacking the problem head on, and eventually you're going to get there. Eventually you'll get to where you want to be, regardless if it takes a week, a month, a year, five or six years. At the end of the day, the hustle and the grind is going to be worth it. F yeah. So obviously this video was a little bit different than all of the other ones that we've done before. Hopefully it served as some sort of motivation and hopefully it can help you get up and running. I really hope that this is something that can help you get motivated. I know motivation is one of the hardest things to do and to stay on. It's hard to stay motivated, but on top of being motivated, you always need to make sure that you stay dedicated. Honestly, in my opinion, dedication is a lot more important than motivation. Motivation is going to wake you up. Dedication is what's going to get you out of bed. So again, hopefully this video served as some sort of inspiration to all of you to get up and running. If you did enjoy this video, if you liked it, if you found it helpful, please make sure you smash that like button. And as you do that, make sure you scroll on over a little bit and hit that subscribe button as well. You'd thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means the world to me that you're watching the entire thing. And it really does help out the channel as well. With that, my name is Mario with AutoDS. I'll catch you all next time.